welcome to another edition of Rebel Fantasy Fights or Fantasy Rebel Fights, <laughs> however you want to call it. In this edition, we're going to talk about Javante Tank Davis versus Ryan Garcia. Uh, these two uh, are inside that crop of young fighters like Tiafimo Lopez, Devin Haney, Chris Colbert, Virgil Ortiz. These are these uh, Gerard Ennis. Well, I don't want to really talk about them. Like re- they're really more compatible with the you know the white 130, 135. That's the crop. You know Shakur Stevenson. Those are those crop of fighters right there. And they've been a lot. There's been a lot of vocal talk later uh, lately about these guys fighting possibly, man. Because uh, Ryan Garcia has been calling Tank Davis out, saying he'll hurt him. He want to punish him um, after Luke Campbell. He want to punish Tank Davis. Uh, things like don't quote me on that, but you know loosely loosely translated. So how would a fight between Ryan Garcia and Tank Davis go? Well, obviously. Ryan Garcia has the height, has the has the reach. Uh, Tank Davis has the edge and power. Ryan Garcia has decent power. It's funny, man. When you see Ryan Garcia, man, you know when he when he's he when he gets his knockouts. Excuse me, a little tired. He gets these knockouts. Most of them are to the body. So I think Ryan Garcia is a pretty good body work, body puncher. Tank Davis is an excellent body. I see him do some excellent body work. And um, when you see Tank fighting Ryan Garcia, you kind of you got to look at it kind of like a Leo Santa Cruz fighting Tank. Compare Leo and Tank's fight to a Ryan Garcia. The difference is Tank Tank will be in a little to to me. Tank is in more danger when it comes to Ryan Garcia because Ryan Garcia has more power than uh than Leo Santa Cruz. Uh there's some things about Ryan Garcia's defense that I think should be fixed ASAP. But with that being said, Ryan Garcia still has better defense than Leo Santa Cruz. He doesn't shell up the way Leo Santa Cruz does. Um the footwork, now Leo Santa Cruz got him on the footwork uh, as far as uh, Ryan Garcia. So what what will end up happening is Ryan Garcia will end up more than likely standing there in front of Tank a bit more than Leo Santa Cruz would. And you're going to see some exchanges between them and somebody's going to get hurt in that exchange. If Ryan Garcia decides to stand there and plant his feet and trade with Tank Davis, I could possibly see Tank getting hurt in, in one of those exchanges, man, with Ryan Garcia. I can definitely see it. I don't see... I can also see... Kind of. I can see Tank clipping Ryan Garcia with that same uppercut he hit Leo Santa Cruz with. The only thing is, Leo Santa Cruz was canted to the... He was kind of like hunched in when he did that. Ryan Garcia has that more, he sits up straight like a giraffe, man. And Tank Davis will have to, like, lunge up a bit more to really catch Ryan Garcia the way he caught Leo Santa Cruz, in my opinion. So the likelihood of Tank catching Lee, catching Ryan Garcia the way he caught Leo Santa Cruz is probably highly unlikely. If Tank Davis was to knock out Ryan Garcia, it would probably be a body shot that would probably do it to him. Um, but I can see this fight definitely being a it's going it's it's going to be a fight, man. These these dudes have power. Tank has the edge. I I can't see I can't really see Tank stopping Ryan Garcia. I see it uh probably going to the maybe the decision and. Tank is Tank is quick. He has speed. Ryan has speed. You know, depending if you believe in the the politics of boxing, 
one might argue, hey man, you know, you're not gonna be able to beat Tank on the on the on the cards because you know the way things is set up with Floyd, you know, how, however people, you know, however you look at it. So I think Tank Davis would probably end up winning that fight if it goes to the cards. You know, more than likely with them two, it'll probably go 12 rounds. And because um, I can't see, I can only see Tank Davis not really stopping Ryan to the body. And Ryan is a little bit more defensively sound when it comes to his body than Leo Santa Cruz is. And he's a, he, I think he has more ring IQ as well. So I see that fight going 12 rounds in favor of Tank Davis. The only way I think Ryan Garcia will win that fight is if he knocked Tank Davis out. I don't think I don't see Tank losing that fight if it goes to the cards. But I think it'll be a good fight. I think Tank Davis could possibly get hurt in that fight. I think Tank Davis can get hurt. Because uh, if you look at Leo Santa Cruz, what he was doing to Tank, and you saw Tank Ah. And, you know, Leo's not really known for his power. And if Ryan hits him like that, he can possibly hurt Tank. I think he can he can knock Tank out to the, like, a head shot, can knock him out, maybe. But I think what will happen is if, Tank, if it is a knockout, it'll be Tank knocking Ryan Garcia out to the body. And I think it'll be Ryan Garcia probably could clip Tank to the head. But overall... That's not what I think is going to happen, but I think somebody will get hurt in that fight, and it probably more than likely probably be uh, Tank for some reason. I don't know. I just think Tank would get hurt first before Ryan, but Ryan won't win that fight if it goes to the cards. He would have to knock him out. So my prediction to that fight, if it ever happens, will be Javante Tank Davis, 12-round decision. Uh You've been watching Rebel Life Boxing. Like and subscribe. Let me know what you think. Get back to me. Later.